Hello everybody, you're watching part one of a beginner series on GameMaker Studio 2. In this video, I'm gonna show you this piece of software and just show you what's going on and how it works and what all the buttons mean and uh, just kinda give you a general direction and then we'll continue with the series too. So this is a very important foundational video. Once you have it open, it's gonna look like this. It might require you to log in with an account. Go ahead and make an account, log in. You're gonna be greeted with this screen. Essentially, every time you create a game, you're going to want to go to New, and you're going to be greeted with this screen. You have a few different options. You have a Select Project Type. Just click Game right there, and then just click Blank Game. Name the project whatever you'd like. My first game. We're just going to call it that. And, of course, it's going to show you what folder it's going to go into, all the files and whatnot. Then just click Let's Go. Once you do this, you are looking at the screen that hopefully you're going to spend hundreds of hours looking at in the future <laughs> because you're going to create your game through all the tools that you see in front of you. So don't get overwhelmed. I know when you first look at it, it's like, oh my goodness, what is going on here? All of this stuff does something, uh, but for the beginner, and if you're just starting out, uh, there's only really a few things that you're, that's really going to matter. So think about it. What is a game made up of in essence? You have your graphics, which in this is going to be called sprites. That's all your graphics, so you have that folder right here. You have your objects, so that's like the player, the enemies. Okay, An object is going to have a sprite or a graphic assigned to it. Okay, Then you have your levels, which is your rooms. So you have a room folder. You also have your sound effects. Then you have all of these other folders, and over time, we're going to go through each and every one of these things. So to make things easy, you got a lot of customization in the software, so I'm going to right-click on Sprites, and I'm going to make these important folders, like, uh, we'll just make it purple, just to kind of make them stand out, okay? So I'm going to just, just so your eyes kind of go to that. Okay, so just to get you going, um, let, let's go through these four folders. So obviously the first thing that you need with a game is you're gonna need a sprite, okay? So all you have to do to create a sprite is just right click on the sprites folder, click create, and then click sprite. Once you do that, you can see you have a graphic in the game. Now it's a blank graphic because you gotta upload it or draw it, but it is a graphic and it's called sprite one. You can rename it right here or, or, of course, this window right here. All your windows are going to be in this space, which you can navigate it by clicking down on the middle mouse button. And you can navigate around. Or, of course, of course, you can just double-click the sprite here over on the right. You know, if you close this and you lose it, just double-click it. It'll come right back up. We're going to rename the sprite, and we're just going to name it SPR, which stands for sprite, under slash player, okay? And, of course, you have all these options here. These are things you learn over time. Uh, over on, well, we'll get that in another video. But So we'll just name it SPR under slash player. And what's cool about GameMaker is it has a built-in sprite editor. All you have to do is click Edit Image. You can also make a, a graphic in something like Photoshop or Microsoft Paint, and you can import it. You can change the, the size of the sprite right here by clicking this, and you can rescale it or you can resize it. So if you want a bigger sprite or smaller, here's your options here. Um, but let's uh, draw something. So you can click Edit Image, and a sprite editor comes up. Notice up here we have these tabs. We have our workspace, which was this, and then we have uh, this image editor up. So you can navigate kind of through here if you want to know how to get back. Um, and of course, you can close tabs too. So in here we have our uh, we have our image editor, which is pretty cool. So we can just uh, create I don't know something. Uh, I haven't used this in so long. Good lord. So yeah, we'll just kind of create something sketchy here. Let's let's just create a uh, an orange player. Uh, I'm not trying to win any awards here, but uh, there we go. Here's our player. <laughs> I'm sure you can do something a lot better than me. Okay, so we just created our first graphic. I'm gonna close this out, and here he is right here course you can do a lot better you can import things create something whatever Th this is just to get you going and show you the essence of game maker now that we have our sprite uh, of course we can now have to make an object now your objects make up the game world and uh, let's go ahead and right click on objects folder click create and we're gonna click object now we have our object one 
Now, the sprites are just sprites. That's just your graphics you're importing in. You have to make objects to kind of put these sprites into play. So you're gonna need an object for like everything. Your player is an object, enemies are an object, health packs are an object, um, a floor or a wall usually can be an object. Uh, the bullets coming out of your gun, that's gonna be an object. Your object is just all the bits and pieces that make up the world, okay? So we're gonna name this obj under slash player. And uh, that's great, but we need to assign a sprite to it. So see where it says sprite and it says no sprite? You're just gonna click that and we're gonna click sprites and we're gonna click sprite player. So when you click sprites right here, it goes to that sprite folder and so all your graphics are gonna show up right here. And you're just gonna click sbr under slash player and that assigns the sprite to this object. It's pretty cool, right? Last thing we need to do is just have a level that we put our player in. So we have our rooms folder here. Now, when you create a new project, GameMaker automatically creates your first room. It's called room one. Now, we're just going to rename this just because I don't like the default names and you're not going to either. Let's just rename this to RM, which stands for room, under slash level one. And when you double click this, you go into like your level editor. So I'm gonna double click it and it starts you with a black background, but what you're seeing is your level. And in fact, at any time in your development in GameMaker, you can click this little play button or just click F5. But this little play button here will actually launch your game. So when you have a new project, even if we didn't just create the object in Sprite, if we would have clicked this, or even if we click it now, it's just gonna compile the game, launch it, which it's doing right now, and we're just gonna have a black room. So it's just blank, there's nothing in it. So in this room editor, you have so many options, and I've been using GameMaker since 2005, okay? I was 15 years old. I'm still learning this tool. You're never gonna stop learning, but that's what makes it so fun. It's just never ending. There's always something new you're learning. So that's what makes it fun. So uh, we're gonna click backgrounds, and you see the word color here. We're just gonna change that. So click this black rectangle. Uh, let's change it to like a some kind of blue here, just just to make it better. Some kind of purplish blue, I don't know. Click OK, so you can change the color right there. And then where it says instances, so you see instances, a background, click instances. All your objects are gonna be in this instance layer. These are called layers. You have your background layer, you have your instances layer, which this contains all your objects, and you can create more layers here. And these are really useful because you can put objects in, in a layer like instances, and you can rename that to anything uh, by just right-clicking and renaming. And in your code later, if you wanted to wipe out like all the enemies in the game at one time, you could have all your enemies in an instance called enemies. And with code, just like that, you can wipe them all out. But your instances is gonna contain your objects. Uh, so just starting out, we're gonna put our player in. So we're just gonna click player here. We're gonna put our mouse over here and there's other ways to do this. You can drag and drop, that's one way. I'm gonna control Z to get rid of that. Uh, you can also just click the object you want and hold Alt, and that'll kind of toggle it on and off here. Or again, you can just drag it and drop it into the game. So, see that? And we could have multiple players if we wanted to, but we're not gonna do that, because that would not make sense. Now when we run the game, we have our graphic that we made, we have our object in the game with that assigned graphic, and it's in the level. So congratulations, you just made your very first game. <laughs> That's not very fun, because you're not able to do anything, but it is a game. And so that's essentially it when it comes to Game Maker. Obviously there's a lot more, but if you just understand that much, you've already come half the way to adding functionality to your game. So just that alone, understanding there's sprites, which are your graphics, there's objects, which make up the game world, your player, your enemies, your health packs, everything else, and you have your rooms, which are your levels. And you can have as many rooms as you want. And through code, in the next video, we're gonna actually give this player some movement so he can go up, down, left, right, and we'll show you over time how to change levels, add more things, and we'll just make a game together with all the fundamentals you need to know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this got you started. And 
let's go ahead and uh, see each other in the next video. Why don't you go ahead and click over there now if it's uploaded. Subscribe to the YouTube channel because we're going to have this series going and going until uh, you all are making your own games. And so even if you just spend 10, 15 minutes a day watching these videos, you are going to make progress and you're going to get a really good skill that's going to last you for the rest of your life. I know people are using different platforms like Unity and, uh, you know, Unreal. But trust me, if you're just one person and you want to get started making your own indie games, Game Maker is a great tool. I don't care what anybody else says, it is a fantastic tool for the hobbyist developer. There's been a lot of games on Steam developed with it, and it's very good. So I hope this video helped you. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and comment on the video too. If this is your first video that you've watched on Game Maker, or if you have any questions or anything at all, uh, leave a positive comment that helps this video go into the algorithm and it shows it to more and more people. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.